of Canadian transportation began in the 16th century when the first explorers set foot on our then unknown continent. The terrain was primitive and tested the resourcefulness of the traveler with its unorthodox problems. Water transport was the solution and a native conveyance was pressed into use. It was called the canoe. waterways linking the interior to the coast were considered to be advantageous for trade. Suitable business procedures were devised. Neither the natives nor the white men realized that from their dealings far-reaching and romantic developments would result. A new age opened without fanfare. But then, over the next quarter century, as business expanded, new and heavier demands were made on the existing facilities for carrying goods. Larger watercraft were seen to be advisable. By the 18th century, fleets of bateaux, as they were called after the French bateau, plied an extensive lake and river system made more navigable by the construction of canals and locks. Beyond the waterways, settlers had cut rough trails inland to expedite the transport of necessary staples. On the new trails, the ox cart was used, reliable, though somewhat slow. enough, travel over the difficult terrain was easier in winter, when ice turned rivers into roads and troublesome obstructions were covered. The late 18th century saw the arrival of the colorful stagecoach. Overland routes were built to link growing towns, and passengers were whisked along in relative comfort. All this while, sea transport was growing in extent and importance. But there was one fact that the men of the sea little realized. The day of the poetic sailing ship, dependent on the whims of the wind, was fast coming to a close. 
a new and more manageable power had been unveiled in Europe, which was to rock the traditional concept of transportation in North America to their very foundation. The Industrial Revolution had come to Canada. of Canada was changed. Steam-powered railway locomotives made it possible for the far-flung provinces of British North America to be joined in one nation. confronting the first Trans-Canada line, one was most puzzling, the Rockies. Despite of formidable difficulties, the mountains did not long defy the engineers. In a series of bold projects, they attacked the barrier from the west, as well as from the east, with unbelievable resourcefulness and immense daring. century introduced the miracle of the internal combustion engine. in a new Canada, even remote northern areas lay tamed beneath our seven-league boots. Today, across this broad land, the success of our transportation network has raised great hopes for the years to come as Canada moves forward with bold resolution to keep its rendezvous with destiny. Transportation genius stands ready for anything the future may bestow.